So this is your boy Alex. I put eye drops in my eyes. And I'm back with a brand new YouTube video. Now I extended the television series because I have a lot of categories in the world of television and film filmmaking to get to. You know, we gotta get on comedies, gotta get to westerns, and then I gotta make a list called the greatest actors and actresses of all times. You know, I kind of done it with action, but we're going to be doing ones on just actors. Ones that are overall the best actors. So, this is going to be like a long series. You know, it's going to be like, by my count, I think when it's all said and done, we're probably looking at 20, 21, 22 videos. Maybe 23 videos when it's all said and done. I know that's a lot of videos for television and film, but it's like 20 to 23 different categories, so you, so there's why it's 22 to 23 videos, if y'all want to watch that many videos. Now, this category, it took me a while to put together, I tried this two months ago and it wasn't working, it's working today, this one's for women who are in television, film, and in sports, and in, in the world of modeling, and this one's for the women that are BBW, um, women that have curves. See, we do have some women in television and film. We have some women in sports. And they don't get enough respect. They don't get enough credit. They don't get enough appraise for their accomplishments, their achievements. And I've put a list together of nine people, women who have curves, women who are BBWs. And if you're a man that admire BBW women, then this video's for you. If you're a woman and you've got the curves and you're a BBW and you feel like nobody gives you the respect and the credit, well, I'm a YouTuber and you'll get some respect and credit for me because every category I have to give people respect. I haven't even touched on the best comedians. Trust me, because that's going to be a very difficult video to make i gotta get to the best male comedians the best female comedians you guys just don't know how many videos i got in store for you guys in the summer see the comic con was for people who love comic con that's why we did the science fiction that's why we did the action and the horror and again i know some people ain't into the horror and plus the move the video it was in tribute to my mother because my mother loves science fiction and horror she does love some action, and she does love some comedy. So, some of those videos were a tribute to my mother. So, some of y'all can't take it that literally and that personal, because if you lose your mother or your father, you are going to be making videos that are a tribute to that person. Because if my mom was here right now in this time period, my mom would need some entertainment to keep her, you know, to keep her going. Wonder Woman was her favorite character told you that in the video but that's why i made that video about action and horror because she loves some horror movies you know my dad he hates he hates horror movies you cannot get my dad to watch a horror movie you know he see friday the 13th he'd be the first one to run out the house and don't come back for three days that's a joke people he just won't watch horror movies but that's not what you came to watch my channel for today's video is called sex game the top nine sexiest curbs bbw women in sports television film and swimsuit models now i might change the name up after the video's been because i gotta make it a little bit more more respectable so i might change the name up i don't want no one to feel like they're being disrespected when they watch this i don't want them to go he could have found a better title so when it comes to you women i just can't throw any name out there okay you know they, they call me alexander the great for a reason I make stuff great. Not good, great. All right, coming in at number nine is Clea Latifah. Now, I talked about her when it came to the music and how at the time she was the big girl and nobody seen somebody like her drive a motorcycle, rap like the guys, and get acceptance. Like, she came in a period where they didn't want to see no big woman trying to rap. She, she was... Like, Missy Elliott, before there was Missy Elliott, and all the stuff that Missy Elliott was doing, it was because Cleet Latifah came in. Like, she wasn't afraid to show you those African roots. And if you had a problem with it, she would look at you like, kiss my ass. Like, that's the type of person she was. And she didn't just break into music. She stayed in the game for, like, 20 years. Put out, you know, five albums, five or six albums. 
did some television, did some film. One of her best portrayals of the TV show was Living Single. Like, to me, that was her television show because she was the main character. And what made it so easy to watch that show was she was taking real-life situations, real-life topics that black men and black women go through in everyday life and display them on television. And the networks and the producers are like, this ain't going to never work. They want to see some rap and some entertainment. And she said, you don't know what the people want. I do. Because it was a big controversy. They couldn't decide if they wanted uh, uh, her to play a, a, a side character. And they made her the boss of a CEO because they went back and forth. So she, that's how she got exposed to being an executive producer, a producer, and a writer of her own television show. And Martin Lawrence gave her some credit because... If you remember, she also popped up on other television shows in the 1990s. She got on to an episode of French Prince Bel-Air. Yeah, she got on, you know, she hooked up with people like that. And it was good because she got to launch her career into film. And then she showed that she could be good with comedians. And she loves poetry. And a lot of people did not know that she did all of those things. So she was good because she would take people on her rap label and put them on to her television show to get their album promoted, which was a very genius way of her doing it. She's lasted for a long time. She's gotten into the commercials. She's done voiceover. Um, so she's broken barriers for people. And you got to give this woman some respect and some credit because she pulled, she pulled it off in a period where it was the 80s, and 90s, and, and nobody want to see no big woman on the mic rapping. Because you look today, you got Missy Elliott. <laughs> and if it weren't for Cleo Latifah, you probably would not have big girls um, in rap videos. Because think about it. She she was on the mic. She she was there with LL Cool J, DMX, Jay-Z, Nas, Tupac, Biggie. She was with the legends because she is a legend. She is an icon. So you got to show this woman some big time respect. That's why she's on this list. So not only she's on the list for music, she's also on the list because there are some men that do find her physically, sexually attractive. You might find it hard to believe there are some men that do like women with curves or BBW. So that's why she's on the list. Coming in at number eight is Amber Rally or Rally. Sorry if I messed up the last name. She was on a television show. Perhaps you've seen it ten years ago. It's called Glee. Glee was a phenomenon. I actually did see one season of it. Um, and only saw that one season because I just wanted to see what all the talk was. I saw her on TV and I just watched her for that one season. You had a big cast of people on that show that became big time um, celebrities. At that time, it was either you were a Glee fan or you like, um, what's that one that um, Zac Efron was on? How... I can't, House of Musical, or I already forgot what it was, but you was either a Gleek fan or you was watching what um, Zef Efron did, where they were doing um, impersonations of artists' music. Both of them were big hits. Both got to be movies and television portrayals. You know, I forgot the name of the thing that the franchise that Zac Efron was, but she was on Glee, and I, I remember her on Glee. And she looked very good looking. Like, in fact, People were shocked when they would put her in some of these magazine covers, you know, and she got in the movies, the television shows, even done an album, you know, hooked up with some big time people and her career just took off. So that's a black woman. So I got two black women on here. So don't nobody be beating me to death with a with a with a with a magazine because I forgot to mention some black women on here. I got two black women on here. Um, don't, don't get upset. Monique is going to be on a list, but it's going to be headlining the best African-American women comedians. So before y'all start to come in the comment section, I told you I got a whole bunch of videos that's going to lead up to 22, 23 videos. Might even be 24 when it's all said and done. So I'm just putting that out there. This is another person to show some respect. All right. Coming in at number seven is Amy Shoemaker. Some people like Amy Shoemaker, people hate Amy Shoemaker, people people like her, people hate her. Now, she's very one of these rare talents because she can do comedy, 
And she can act. And yeah, sometimes she's over the top. Sometimes she does some things that people don't like. But she's actually funny. Like, when she did a movie called Trainwreck, she was able to be funny in, in that whole entire movie. And what makes her attractive is that she actually makes fun of herself. Like, most actresses, they take themselves so super serious, she makes fun of herself. Just to show people that I'm not this super serious actress like you think I am. She makes fun of herself, and basically, she'd be in these movies. You know, seriously. That was a funny movie, because it was actually that funny. You know, so she can act, and she's funny, and then to take the idea that she goes up in weight, goes down in weight, and she makes fun of it, you got to have a lot of guts to, to, to make fun of yourself and actually get away with doing it. So that's oppressive because it's rare to be good looking, funny, and then act. Now, she did went from being liked to being hated to being liked again. So, yeah, you, she, she can surprise you when you give her a chance. Now, I'm not saying she's the best of the best and she's the worst of the worst, but she can actually surprise you when given a chance. She actually can do something pretty decent. So that's why she's on this list. Coming in at number six is Rebel Wilson. Rebel Webel Wilson. Sorry if I messed up the name. We all know she's probably from the United Kingdom or from Australia. And she's very interesting. I mean, she's a big personality. In fact... Liza kept close. I actually have a crush on her. I actually do find her very physically, sexually attractive for a woman of her stature and her size. Ever since I saw those movies, Picture Perfect, I already kind of had a feeling she was going to be a big star. Like, she got to be in all three movies. Part 1, 2, and 3. You know, Picture Perfect, those were the three movies. Then she was in Pain and Gain. Then she, uh was in a movie called Ghost Rider. Nobody remember it, but she actually was in the movie Ghost Rider. And then she's been in all these smash hits, a hit one after another, one after another. And she's a very good comedian actress because she also is another one that makes fun of herself. She had a television show that was short-lived. She got to be in commercials, but she's very good when it comes to being a comedian actress. She did that one movie with Anna Hardaway where they was teaching her how to be a spy. So, to me, I have a feeling she's going to be in a part of a big franchise. It was Ghostbusters, but that movie flopped. And that movie didn't really show her in a good light. I mean, they did try to make her be an action star, and it just didn't work. And I, I believe she might get another shot. Like, I could see her pop up maybe in a future Marvel movie, a future DC film to give you some comedy relief. Like, you could just imagine if you got her to pair up with The Rock and just do a comedy, it might actually happen. I mean, yeah, this is one of my crushes. You know, she's been in a lot of movies, and I just so happen to watch a lot of those movies. Like, like seriously, like, you don't plan on watching people's movies and then follow their whole career. She's one of those people who I've just happened to watch all the movies. Whether the movies were good at the box office, whether the movies were bad, I actually watched the movies because she's actually funny. That's that's why I like her. She's actually that funny. Like, she makes fun of herself. She makes fun of the situations she'll be in. Like that one romantic comedy called This Isn't, this Isn't Romance. That actually was funny because of the fact that she took an idea that we all have about we're never going to get with our true love we're never going to get the one that we want she actually makes that funny in an understanding way that, that you can kind of say yeah that's exactly how i feel on the inside i mean she's a very good talent and she she's gonna eventually be in some more movies like some of these new some of these movie reboots that they have ideas for don't be surprised if she pop up in a future franchise that's a reboot like you you could see them put her in some movies what i'm really waiting for is for her to either be in a science fiction movie action thriller or possibly a horror movie you know something to really challenge her acting range something that shows that you can get better as time goes on so that's why we have her on this list all right coming in at number five is ruby roxy now a lot of people 
have seen her pictures on hundreds and literally hundreds and hundreds of magazines. Very physically sexually attractive, love the red burgundy hair, and she's very curvy. And a lot of men find her physically sexually attractive. I remember a friend of mine had a girlfriend that was wearing a t-shirt of her, and at the time I didn't know who she was. People was like, she's on social media. And that's how she blew up, was on social media. And wherever, wherever I was at wasn't too far from where she was. She was doing a photo shoot. And at that time, she started to get some huge buzz for being on social media, which landed her on TV talk shows. She would pop up at the modeling shows because she's a plus size model, which I probably don't use that word as much. I'm just going to say a woman with some curves. I, I, I'd rather say that than plus size model. Some people understand it, but to some people, it's, it's just disrespectful. And basically, I, I was like, man, she's good looking. Like, when I see her, I don't see that she's fat. I see she's curvy. Now, some people are going to tell you curvy and fat are pretty much the same thing. That's them. This is my video channel. This is my show where I just tell you what it is. And she's very attractive for her age. And pretty much, I could see myself taking her out to lunch and dinner maybe two or three times. I could see myself hook up with her. She's not that bad. You know, most of the time when they say someone's curvy or fat, they always make it seem like it's negative and bad. And when they actually get somebody that's a complete opposite, you know, it's crickets. I hear crickets because not all the time somebody is big look bad. Yeah, in most cases, but not in this case. So it's like, come on, show some show some respect. There have been some skinny people that look ugly. Trust me, I've seen both. <laughs> now, coming in at number four is Adele. Adele is very good looking. I mean, for someone that can sing her ass off with full-blown um, range. Now, she should have been on the pop, the pop artist list of all times. And the reason why she didn't get on here is because I was saving her for this list. I mean, she was criticized when she first broke in the game. People didn't take her serious in the beginning. And you fast forward 10, late, 10 years later, she's put out like five albums. When you get a phone call to do a movie called James Bond Skyfall, that's a big deal. You know you have arrived. And when they put you on a magazine... You know, she almost got on Playboy. That's a big deal. You don't you don't get to do you don't get to sing at a president's inauguration in a country unless they think you're the big deal. And she was a big deal. I was in college when she popped out. And men were hitting her up like it was crazy. Men was taking pictures, men was asking for autographs, men were hitting on her and they had a girlfriend. And they girlfriends that get pissed off, like, if you go over there one more time, I'm going to beat your ass. Like, the popularity that she had was insane. That, to this very day, guys look at her photos and be like, man, she looked fine as hell. You know, she got curves, like, damn. Yeah. Coming in number three is Christina Hendricks. Now, I have a big, big, big man, uh, big ass crush on her. Ever since I saw her in a television series called Mad Men, I started watching every single episode. I was like, God damn, this woman is fine. She got curves. She fine as hell. I was like, shit, she had the red hair. She had that sexy glow in her face. I was like, them killer curves. I was like, damn. And that scene where she comes walking into the room like she's in charge of everything. And she had that look like, move out of the way, bitch. This shit is mine. I watched every single episode of Mad Men. Season 1, Season 2, Season 3, Season 4. Watched every single season of that show. Like, if it weren't for her, I would have never watched a television show. Like, yeah, the guy, Don Draper, might be the main character... But you saw the girl with the red burgundy hair, the big curves. I was like, oh man, this is heaven right here. I mean, I had a big ass crush on this woman. Like, that's how good looking she is. Even today, she still looks good looking. And why is it kept closed? If I was rich and famous, if I was rich and famous, 
a multi-billionaire, a multi-millionaire, she'd probably be one of the few women I would probably take out to lunch and dinner right off the bat. Very attractive. Look good for her age. Like, she's in her 40s, and she still looks fucking hot. Most women, when they get around their 30-ish, their 40s, they don't look so fucking hot. She's 40, and she still looks hot. I mean, they put her in other television shows, and guess what? I find out she on that uh, TV show they did on, um, not on Lifetime, but on the Sundance channel. I watched that whole entire season. I watched it. And she could play multiple characters. She could play any character. She could play a character that's rich. She could play a character that's poor. She could play a, a, a doctor. Did you not see her in Bad Santa? Did you not see how she was in that movie? Like, she plays different characters, and she has the great range of being an actress. Now, I know a lot of you guys were thinking she should have been Wonder Woman. I mean, that would have been a fantasy come true for most of us. I mean, everyone would have been trying to crowd up the movie theater had they went with that idea, her be Wonder Woman. I mean, you could just imagine it. Coming in at number two is Ashley Graham. Now, Ashley Graham is someone who has broken a whole bunch of barriers. I mean, nobody knew who she was in high school and college. And then one day she did modeling, plus size modeling. I told you I don't like to reuse the word plus size too much. It's an okay to word to use, but when you describe this woman, you got to say this woman's got curves that will just knock your socks off. You could probably see a car accident. And, and that's a statement. This woman did something that most few women get to do. Like, women like Cindy Crawford, that's one of my all-time crushes. I'll make a separate video about that for guys that just want me to talk about the greatest swimsuit models of all times. Ashley Graham might pop up on that list. She got to be on Swimsuit Magazine, Sports Illustrated. At that time, you had to be a Tyra Banks. You had to be a Cindy Crawford to get on that magazine. It was like Dia Criblet to Playboy. Like, there's Playboy, and then there's Sports Illustrated. And to get on that magazine, you gotta be worthy. They don't just put anyone on that magazine. And when they put her on that magazine cover, and I think it was either between 2014, either it was between 2012 or 2014, I can't quite remember the years, but at that time, I had just got out of college, just got my first job, and that magazine was out. Do you know how complicated it was to get your hands on that magazine? Like, they had, like, literally four copies left. And if you didn't have the money, of course, you had to be over the age of 21 to get it, of course. Oh, the good fucking times in college. Y'all just don't know the good fucking good times of college. But that magazine was hard to get. And everyone who got that magazine, it sold out. At that time, you had Ronda Rousey on a magazine cover, and you had Ashley Graham on the cover. And guys, which I, I, in one way, it kind of was fucked up. They didn't want to go buy the Nicki Minaj magazine. They didn't want to buy the Ronda Rousey magazine. They bought the Ashley Graham magazine. Guys would buy the magazine, wait for her to come to the mall in every city and state, just so they can get the autograph with the magazine. That's how a big deal it was. She got into the movies, the television shows, the commercials. She got to be on all the major networks that do modeling. Fashion Runway, New York City. Got to be on Project One Way. Got to hook up with Janice Dickinson. When you get phone calls from Janice Dickinson and Tyra Banks, you have arrived in this bitch. And she became a big inspiration to a lot of the women because... For years and years and years, people kept saying Sports Illustrated don't want to put women on these magazines. Now, just imagine if Playboy got the idea to do it. I'm telling you, if not or her, the very next person that come might break that barrier. So you got to give the woman a whole lot of respect and a whole lot of credit. So this is me making a video for these women because these women deserve the respect and the credit. Coming in at number one is a female professional wrestler that I have a big crush on. Now, it's no stranger to people. I am a big professional wrestling fan. Don't worry, on my sports channel, I will make videos in the late summer about my favorite professional wrestlers. I'll do one for the men and one for the females. But this one 
is The Rock's cousin. It is Nia Jax. Ever since she came to the WWE seven years ago, that is the only time I will watch women wrestle. I mean, if back in the day, I liked the China, I liked the Beth Phoenix, and she kind of reminds me of those two. She was like another China. She was just mixed with four different nationalities. Yeah, she's a little bit naturally on the bigger side, but I found her physically sexually attractive. She had the glow on her face. Her hair was nice. And when she braided her hair up, when she braided her hair up three years ago, and she looked it even better when she did that. And the fact that she would go in the ring and just whoop some ass was like interesting to me because I would never watch women wrestle unless she was involved in it. She won the championship two, three years ago. It'd be nice if Nia Jax could win the women's championship at least three times. Like at least let her win the belt twice. And what I'm what I'm rating what I'm really rating for is for her to actually win a match at WrestleMania to put her way over the top. She done something that most women don't do. She showed that she could be a black woman because she is a black woman that is mixed. And can come in wrestling and kick somebody's ass. If I can get Nia Jax versus Ronda Rousey, I'll be very happy. I'm, I'm ready for Vince McMahon and Triple H to make the match happen. I mean, if we can't even get that, then at least go get the girl that beat Ronda Rousey in their first fight and set something up. Set something to make her really, truly stand out. Now, some people are going to say, how are you making this woman number one when she gets in the ring and injures people? Okay. Let's look at that. Did Mike Tyson get into a boxing ring and beat the shit out of people and injure people? Yes. And people still watched Mike Tyson fights. You know, Tyson biting Evander Holyfield, that's not boxing. That's just losing your damn mind. Even Mike Tyson will even agree with me. That's not boxing. That's, that's something else. So when people bring up Mike Tyson, but Mike Tyson hurt people in boxing. So if we're going to go off of Nia Jax be injuring people in wrestling. Well, you got some football players that be injuring people. Yeah, you got some football players that hurt other football players. What about when Shaq was dominating basketball? Shaq had some challenges. And I would look at Nia Jax as the Shaquille O'Neal of the women's division. Think about it. Shaq had to go through challenges. Shaq had some weight issues. I got some weight issues. It may not look like it to y'all on camera, but there are days where I go up and down in weight. One minute I'm buff, then I'm lean, then I'm lean, I'm buff. Every now and then I get the gut. I can relate to Nia Jax when it comes to the weight issues. Being laughed at, teased, made fun of, being treated different, I can relate to it. That's why I like that China as a professional wrestler God rest her soul, rest in peace. That's why I can relate to Beth Phoenix. That's why I can relate to Nia Jax. Now, I'm not saying none of the other female wrestlers ain't legend, legends or icons. What I'm saying is this is for Nia Jax. She broke in the professional wrestling, and she did it in a way no one expect. Now, everybody has a bit of an anger, a bit of a temper, sometimes too much. But she's on number one for a reason. And before anyone say you're just doing it because you have a crush and it's The Rock's cousin, that could be no more further to the truth. But the fact of the fact is, women like her deserve some respect and some credit too. That's why the video's being made. Respect. That's all this is. Respect. We'll make another video. It's going to be about swimsuit models and you guys are going to you guys are going to be going insane for that video. So until then, peace.